Alavinda, why does Carol decide to create Carol's Night Hypervisor and why do you think it's such a game changer for banks? So uh, you remember that in uh, 2014, uh, Microsoft uh, stopped support for Windows XP and all the banks had to go to Windows 7. That was a very expensive business for the banks. Uh, some estimates are $5 billion globally for that uh, upgrade. Uh, the cost comes not just from having to change the motherboard, but that whole project that you need to do to upgrade ATMs from XP to Windows 7. Now the thing is, next year, in 2020, January 2020, uh, Microsoft will uh, stop support for Windows 7, banks have to go to Windows 10 again, it's going to be similar or a bigger cost. Uh, not only that, but with Windows 10, the changes to the operating system are going to come even faster. It's not really clear exactly how often the hardware will have to be upgraded, but it's going to be probably more often than in the past. Calignite Hypervisor removes the need to upgrade the hardware just because the operating system has been upgraded. It doesn't mean that banks will never have to upgrade hardware. Of course not, because in 25 years' time, they're not going to want to run today's hardware. However, it removes that direct connection between the operating system being upgraded and the hardware being upgraded. It allows banks to upgrade the hardware at a time that suits them and because they want to do it. Why might they want to do it? Well, because maybe there's quicker hardware, better hardware that, uh, uh, um, that, that makes the application run faster. It's that link that uh, um, is broken by the Calignite hypervisor. It allows banks to run the latest software even on older hardware. Oh.